Hello, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my eating show. Trying to adjust it, y'all. Huh. I think that light is too much. Oh, well, I'll just have to... Well, today I got me some meatloaf and broccoli, scalloped potatoes, and Spanish rice. So take a feast on that. See that meatloaf, y'all? Oh, yeah. Got me some meatloaf, y'all. So let me, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let me see my blessings before I get started. <laughs> amen, amen. Okay, I want to taste this broccoli, though. Mm-hmm. Mm, broccoli good. Mm, broccoli and rice. Mm. Mm, okay. Mm. Taste some of the meat milk, though. Mm. Okay. And so. Mmm. 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 Oh, well, that's good. I got scalloped potatoes. I didn't get it on the fork. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm, hungry, See, I'm dropping my food. I'm really hungry, okay? Let's try it again. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm. Oh. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yeah, a lot of people eating tacos on Tuesday. Not me. I eat whatever I want to eat. I don't fall fall in that line like follow the leader. No, I'm not a follower, y'all. <clears throat> I'm a leader. So that means Tuesdays, whatever, whatever people eat on certain days, I don't do it. I eat what I want. Okay? So my taste buds are different. One day I want this, one day I want that. I don't want to eat the same thing every week and stuff. So... I have to switch it up. It's fine if you want tacos every Tuesday, but I, I like tacos. Yeah, I love tacos, but I don't eat them on no certain day just because somebody else is eating it. A taste buds don't call for it. I won't go for it. Mm -mm. So, tonight, I just want some meatloaf, y'all. Give me some meatloaf. I'm happy. And I haven't had scalloped potatoes in a while. 
You know what I'm saying? So, mm. uh, yeah, I'm the one that always got to be different, huh? Nothing wrong with that. Expand your taste buds. That's just what I say. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I will have tacos on Tuesday, but not every Tuesday. Isn't that boring? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like letting somebody control your taste buds. I'm like, no. Not me. I eat whatever I want. My taste buds want something different. That's what I'm going to eat. That's just me. You know, because sometimes I'm hungry and I don't know what I want to eat. Mmm, yeah. Sometimes I'm hungry and don't know what I want to eat, so. I'm just waiting around until I decide what I want before I try to cook anything. Mm-hmm. So some days, especially when it's hot, I mean, this weather is something else. I feel like summer is here already. I'm going to do it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like summer's here already. And I'm tripping on my lighting, too. Mm. <clears throat> I know some are supposed to be here like the third week of June, something like that. Summer is like the third week in June. But We've been in summer weather for the past couple of months. I'm like, summer's not going to wait on no timeline. It's going to do what it want to do. Okay? Mm-hmm. So something been here. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna drink some water. Mm-hmm. But Oh, that was burnt. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> no, no, people are talking about Juneteenth. So when is Juneteenth? You know, I think people be making up all day. Mm-hmm. Well, Juneteenth today. Today is fifteenth. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, seriously, I need to read more. Got to catch up on some events going on. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Well, the weather was kind of windy, but the sun was out. It was a little hot out there. But it did feel good to have that wind blowing. So when you get windy, you know, that kind of help you deal with the heat. So. Mm-hmm.
Mm. Some more broccoli. Child, yeah, I gotta have my vegetables. But you know what, when you get older, you kind of get away from eating vegetables. But when you're younger, your parents always made you eat them vegetables. When you got older, you weren't trying to mess with it. But then again, you find out that vegetables got a lot of vitamins and they give you energy. So you get back to eating vegetables. Mm-hmm. Mm, that was a kid. I did not like eating greens at all. I didn't like it. I don't know why. Maybe it wasn't enough seasoning in it or something. Back in the day, only seasoning they had was salt and pepper. Huh. See what I'm saying? But now... So many different type of seasonings, you know, make your food taste good, but I really didn't like eating no kind of greens. It didn't matter what kind of greens it was, I didn't want none of it. Stood at the table and cried because I didn't want to eat them greens. I had no choice. I had to eat them. <laughs> but now I love me some greens and cornbread. I do. I do. I love some greens. See, when you're younger, you don't want to eat nothing healthy. You want to eat something that tastes sweet and good. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> when you get older, you learn how to cook them, make, give it some taste. You know, use all kinds of seasoning, different types of meat to go in there and what. I'm not saying all that is healthy. You know. But, well, I like my greens. I like to smoke turkey in my greens. You don't have to worry about a lot of fat. So, yeah, smoke turkey. Yeah. Just spruce up them greens, y'all. But now they got it where you can buy greens already cooked and in a can. All you got to do is heat them up. Yeah, so, but the best way is cooking yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's what cooking yourself. Mm-hmm. But them canned veggies got a lot of salt in it. But after you're older, you can't have a lot of salt. So it's best to cook it yourself and season it the way you want it. Child, talking about greens. I want to cook some greens. I want to go get me some greens and cook me some greens. I got to have it. I, I, right, I got to have me some greens, y'all. Mmm. Do you know whoever in your family can make some good greens? Who in your family could cook some good greens? Mmm. Mmm. You know the family union. You know. Family want to cook their specialty. One person could do greens good. The other person could do your beans good or whatever. Well, my favorite, what I used to do was the enchilada. They disappear so quick, y'all. That's how you know it was good. <laughs> if the people keep attacking them. Yeah. <clears throat> that was my favorite, enchiladas. Mm-hmm. If I didn't do the enchiladas, I did the chorizo and uh, kidney bean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enchiladas were my favorite. 
Oh yeah. Mmm. Being in pandemic, you don't have nothing but time. You got to perfect your cooking skills. You know what I'm saying? Let's be stuck in the house. Yeah, you get tired of the TV after a while. You go in the kitchen and you want to cook up some stuff. I'm not talking about one or two items. <laughs> cook up a whole lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's how it be. And now I right hear they trying to uh, lift a mask mandate or something like that. Where you don't have to worry about Hmm. God gave me common sense. Okay, because you don't know who not vaccinated. You don't know. So, um, common sense, tell me, where that man? Mm-hmm. And just what I'm going to do. I can't afford to be sick, y'all. Mm -hmm. I can't afford to be sick. Mm -mm. Simple fact, I like to get up and go. I like to do stuff. I won't be able to do nothing if I got sick, but lay in that bed, which I'm not trying to do. So a lot of people could listen to uh, whoever tell them you don't have to wear a mask. They listen if they want to. Bad a week, they be fell sick and wonder why. Simple fact. If that virus ain't with nowhere, you better wear your mask. Okay, wear your mask. My thing is wear the mask till they find a cure. If they ain't found no cure and they tell people you don't have to wear your mask. I'm like, for what? You guys don't have a cure yet? <laughs> yeah. They just rushing. Yeah, they rushing. Rushing to make a dollar. Want people to get back to work and this and that or whatever. That's all that is. Mm, why put people life in jeopardy? You know, over a dollar. Don't make no sense. So, people, we got to make our own decisions. If we're going to wear a mask or not. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody making no decisions for you. I know I'm going to wear mine. Mm-hmm. And watch how this thing play out, y'all. I'm going to keep wearing my mask. Watch the news. See what's going on in the world. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? <sighs> I can't get my words out, y'all. What makes the government think they can make decisions for the people? Yeah, these people are grown. Let them make their own decision whether they want to or not. You know, uh, don't make decisions for people. That's like a form of control. Like, stand up, raise your hand, do this. Like some kind of game. Like a Simon Says game. That's what it seemed like. But Simon Says, don't wear no mask. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a form of control. Grown people should do whatever they want to do. Because if they the one that's going to suffer for listening to other people to do this, do that, it ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Mm -mm, ain't worth it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I watch the news from time to time. Yeah, news do be depressing a lot. But I still have to watch it sometime to see what's going on in the world. 
you know. One thing about social media, they put everything on social media so you know what's going on. It's like watching the news. All you got to do is get on social media and just scroll up and down or whatever. And then you see. I'm like, oh, no, not this. Oh, man. Mm. All of it is a form of control. You know what I'm saying? So, all that to say, protect yourself and keep praying. That's it. Yeah, keep wearing your mask and just keep praying, y'all. I can't eat no more. I ate my meatloaf and my broccoli. That's too much rice. I ate some of the scalloped potatoes. But I did eat my vegetables, y'all. Yes, I did. I'm just <laughs> yapping away, but whatever. No, because that disturbed me about them telling people don't wear their masks. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, do they have a cure yet? So why would they tell people don't wear their masks if they don't have no cure? Where's the common sense in that? Where is it? Why? Man's in a hurry to open up schools, in a hurry, uh, stopping people from wearing masks, but there's no cure. And another thing, you're sending these kids to school and uh, they jeopardy and getting sick or whatever. No. They got the game messed up. Get a cure first. Yeah, a cure. Where's your cure at then? You want people to stop wearing their masks? You want the kids to go back to school with it? Where's the cure for this deadly disease? So many people died already. So why just throw people back out there when there's no cure? I'm just speaking my mind, you guys. <laughs> That's it. I'm speaking my mind. That's it. You know, that gave you something to think about. You know what I'm saying? Now, why they want the kids go back to school ain't no cure. Why they want the people to stop wearing the mask. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and they don't have a cure yet. I understand if they had a cure for this stuff, but. No! Mm, no! It don't make no sense. If you're trying to protect the people. United States of America. Huh. Get the cure first before you tell them don't wear a mask. Before you open up everything in the city. Do you got a cure? Because there's a lot of people out there ain't been vaccinated yet. Ooh, let me come. Let me let me bring it back down. Let me bring. <laughs> I'm getting too hyped up, but. <laughs> Basically, that's pissing me off, you guys. They ain't got a cure, and they don't want you to wear a mask. And they know a lot of people that even got vaccinated. So why? Oh, Lord. What's the world coming to? Mm. You know what the world coming to? An uh, end. Faster. If we keep listening to the government. Tell us, don't do that, do this, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel that the people should make their own decisions, really. Whether they want to wear their masks or not. And if they decide not to wear their masks, if they get sick, then they'll know the truth. You know? But why put yourself in jeopardy like that when you know they don't have a cure? You ain't got no cure, child. I'm wearing my mask. The minute I walk out that door, I got a mask around my neck. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You know, old folks back in the day used to say, better safe than sorry. Mm. Better safe than sorry. The way to be safe, keep wearing your mask. Keep keeping your hands clean and everything, you know, your gloves or whatever you do to stay clean, you know, but. Mm, mm, mm. But I can't tell you to keep wearing your mask. That got to be your choice. Y'all grow. Huh. Do what you want to do. Do what you think is best. You know what I'm saying? Do what you think is best. Nobody can't tell you what to do or what not to do. You know, that's just a form of control. I'm like, wow, leave the people alone. 
They're going to do what they want to anyway. So, you know, why keep pushing the issue? If they don't feel safe, they're going to wear their mask. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people out there that's not vaccinated. So, all I can say is do you. Okay? Do you. <laughs> okay. So, mm, I'm full of you guys, and I'm just yapping away, huh? But love you guys. Just stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. That's all I ask. All right? Okay? So, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening, you guys. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. All right. Goodbye.